Well, my uh, destination, Laterno, really started in second grade. I had the opportunity to grade my own papers and knew at that point that God was leading me into teaching. It didn't uh, necessarily go that way as I really thought I wanted to be a doctor and to practice medicine at some point. I uh, decided to do a lot of study in that area and God continued to change my direction. Uh, he had uh, lots of, of changes because the grades weren't exactly where they needed to be and sometimes God uses that to change in our life to allow us to see what's going on. But was able to start teaching, uh, did uh, teaching at two different institutions before came to Laterno. And the reason to come to Laterno really was focused around trying to get close to family. Uh, my mother-in-law had developed cancer and we really wanted to be close to her. The opportunities for me professionally uh, were important. And so a uh, job opened up at Laterno uh, for me to come and to work here and uh, actually opened up for my wife to teach the next semester. So coming here was a godsend, um, but it allowed us to be close to family, allowed us to really allow our family to have a wonderful place to live. I've never lived anywhere as long as I've lived in uh, this area, so it's been exciting to do that and to see what happened. But my transition to Laterno wasn't necessarily easy. It was uh, uh, an opportunity to learn really something new even though I was going in the same field, I had uh, five new preparations for classes when I first came here and it was very stressful trying to figure out how to balance all of that. And so during that first semester at Laterno, I really learned what it would meant to be to change and to become a more productive person in my profession because I, I changed my teaching. And one of the unique things about our classes is that uh, my teaching changed to more application rather than theory. So instead of teaching things in theory, I wanted students to learn them and learn to apply those. So in the middle of one of my classes in that first semester, I apologized to my students for pushing them so hard and asked them to please go and look at things differently and to relax a little bit. And collectively, everybody in the class just went, thank you. Uh, we're looking for something different from that. Uh, and that changed my entire way of thinking about uh, teaching it uh, the in our class in this particular class is one that has become my favorite class it was actually a class i never took as a student uh, and had to learn how to teach it but now is a course that i teach and i tell those students in that class that this is going to be your favorite class guaranteed uh, and hopefully i've not ever disappointed on that one uh, teaching it right now this semester and have enjoyed being able to do that with those students but what makes it different and unique is that Everything that they do in that class is geared to what are they going to do when they leave Laterna? What is the, what's their professional angle that's shooting? In kinesiology, we have a lot of different majors. There's those that are going into healthcare related fields like physical therapy, occupational therapy, chiropractic, medical technology, but we also have those who are going into sports management, that are going into teaching and coaching, sports communication, and even those that are going to go into sports ministry. So we have to address those kinds of things in a classroom setting. And in kinesiology, because we have so many kinesthetic learners, people that love to touch things and hold things and, and use their hands, that we do many of those kind of activities in class. It's uh, a lot of laboratory activities, a lot of learning about yourself, and that's a strength of our program is that students come in and they don't just sit, soak, and sour. They really spend time learning and applying the things in their life. So I've loved doing that at Laterno. I've loved changing my teaching style, learning about teaching. Uh, I uh, tried to become a pedagogy specialist and learn what it means to really teach and to learn. And I think within our classrooms, we're doing that uh, probably better than many other schools. The, uh, one of the things that uh, I came from a, uh, another Christian school before I came to Laterno, uh, but that school going to that, uh, being a Christian and using your faith was incidental. Uh, it uh, was not something that you had to do. In fact, the, the only thing that they wanted to know when I applied for a job there was, are you a Christian? And once I said yes, they moved on to the other things. When I came to Laterno, I was asked my testimony four different times on the very first day, uh, which told me that Laterno takes your faith seriously. And so part of my learning during my first few years was not just learning how to apply the field, but learning how to integrate my faith. And so more of faith integration occurs in classes. And sometimes, like yesterday in class, I'm trying to integrate a great verse and I mess it up and uh, don't say exactly the way I want, but the students see the authenticity of me trying to see how this actually works in our field. 
uh, and they're seeing that lived out. It's not just learning the content, they're learning how my faith informs my content and how that makes a difference in the way that I live my life. And that's one of the benefits of Christian higher education. But you, you get that. But at Letourneau, it's not incidental, it's intentional because no longer do we focus on yes, it's good to be a Christian or let's read a Bible verse, but it's intentional of how we take that content and show how the Bible intersects. Uh, what is the, the Bible's answer to the certain questions that come up in our field? How can we address the concerns uh, with a biblical perspective? We do that really well at Eterno, and it's uh, very much of a challenge for me to want to do that in my class every day to find a new way to tie the Bible into what I'm talking about can be really tough with talking about statistics, finding new ways to talk about how, Bob, how the Bible talks about uh, money, but there's all kinds of examples in the Bible related to that. So it's an exciting kind of thing to find uh, that to, I have the freedom to be able to not only share what I've learned about my content, my passion for the subject matter, my love for teaching, but also to share my love for Jesus and let the students see that. Uh, let them see that you can do both. You can have the joy of Jesus at the same time you're having the joy of your profession. Uh, they get to, to know that. It's, it's part of my journey. It's part, hopefully, becomes part of their journey as they go through, that they learn that you can serve, that uh, you can have a passion. And that's what I've learned over the 18 plus years that I've been at Laterno is that I love what I do, and the more opportunities that I have to do it, the more I continue to love it. God continues to bless, and as long as He's got me here, that's what I want to do.